Dear friends, this is Indra Vichatya here in the episode of Mathematics and Statistics Learning. In the last episode, we discussed how to solve the system of linear equation using elimination method. Today in this 19th episode, we shall continue discussing this system of equation with Kramer's rule method. Click the link listed below for the site that explains the process in detail. Before actually diving to the solution of the problem, let me introduce the principle and method of Kramer's rule. Kramer's rule is a matrix method to solve the system of linear equations. Suppose we are solving this system, a1x plus b1y equals c1 and a2x plus b2y equals c2. We have a1, a2, b1, b2, c1, c2 are constant numbers and x, y are variables. This system can be written in the matrix form as this. Here we have this matrix formed by the coefficient of this equation called the coefficient matrix and this is a column matrix formed by the variables and this is the column matrix formed by the right hand side elements here. In short, this matrix is written as AX equals B, where A is the coefficient matrix, X is the matrix of the variable, and B is the matrix of the right hand side element. This coefficient matrix is a square matrix with two rows and two columns. These A1, B1, A2, B2 are called the elements of the matrix enclosed within a square bracket. We can't find the value of this matrix, but we can write the determinant of this matrix by enclosing the elements within these two vertical bars. And now we can find the value of this determinant. The value is the difference of the product of the cross diagonal elements. So here the value of this determinant is A1, B2 minus A2, B1. So the determinant of the coefficient matrix is given by A1, B2 minus A2, B1. This is a numerical value. Next, we form a matrix called AX. This is formed by replacing this first column of the coefficient matrix by the right hand side matrix. So this is AX matrix and corresponding determined value is C1, B2, minus C2, B1. Similarly, we can form another matrix AY by replacing the second column of the coefficient matrix by this right hand side matrix. So here, AY is this matrix and corresponding determinants is A1, C2 minus A2, C1. Once we have these determined values, we can directly write the solution of the system of equation. The value of x is the ratio of these two determinants, dx and d. So x equals dx by d. Similarly, y is the ratio of these two determinants, dy and d. So y equals dy by d. By now, we know how to solve linear system using Kramer's rule theoretically. Let's consider the numerical examples to solve the linear system by browsing 
a website of mine, www.teachyouthmass.com. This is the page. On algebra tab, click grammar's practice on the right of basic algebra. This will lead you to this page. We have a problem of linear system ready to solve here. I am making this solution process easier by arranging all the stops in a tabular form. Observe the question in the top left hand corner. Try to match the matrices in the first column with the question. This is the coefficient matrix and this is dx matrix. First column of the coefficient matrix replaced by this right hand side column. And this is the dy matrix. Second column of the coefficient matrix replaced by the right hand side column. And here in the second column, we have the corresponding determinants. This is the determinant of the coefficient matrix. This is the determinant of the dx matrix. And this is the determinant of the dy matrix. And in the third column, we have the values of the determinants. This is the determinant value of the coefficient matrix. This is the determinant value of the dx matrix. And this is the determinant value of the dy matrix. And last row is the solution process. Here the value of x is dx by b. So the x is 2.72. Similarly, y is dy by d. The value of y is 4.56. Continue clicking this next problem button until you feel confident in solving system of linear equation using grammar school. Isn't it easy and a fun game? Next, let's proceed to a graphical solution of this system of equation to have the visual understanding of the materials. Now, let's proceed to graphical solution of this system of equation to have the visual understanding of the materials. On this web page of mine, on algebra tab, click substitution graphical on the right of basic algebra. You will reach this page. Click the next problem button. You see the plots of these two equations here. Blue line corresponds to the first equation and green line for the second. This point of intersection is the solution. This is the value of x and this is the value of y. Continue clicking this button to have more fun. After all this fun stuff, you must be very much excited to work on your own. Let's proceed to solve your curiosity. Browse this web page of mine and in algebra tab, click substitution exercise on the right of basic algebra. You will reach this page. Question is here to solve. Work on it and enter your answer. The value of x here in this box and y here in this box. And click this check button to check your answer whether it is correct. Click this no answer button to print the correct answer. And click next problem button to create the new problem. Continue clicking next problem button to have more practice to solve this type of problem. Good luck and happy learning.